Hello and welcome to Guitar Gear Gyan with me, Sahil Jagyani. And in today's episode, we're going to know our ukuleles. But before that, make sure you click that subscribe button and ring that bell to stay up to date with all our latest videos. century, the ukulele was born in Hawaii. It's an adaptation of the Portuguese instrument, the machete. Now, it comes in four main types, the soprano, the concert, the tenor, and the baritone. But you also have a sopranino, a super tenor, and a guitar lele. So we've got five of them today in front of us. Um, the soprano is usually between uh, 13 to 14 inches in the scale length. Uh, the concert is about 15 inches in scale length. The tenor is around about 17 to 18 inches in scale length. The baritone is a much higher, 19 to 20 inches in scale length. And the guitar lily is also 17 inches or so in scale length. The two other shapes which I mentioned, which are not on uh, uh, display over here, are the sopranino, which has a scale length of 11 inches, and the super tenor, which has a scale length of between 18 to 19 inches. In terms of the tuning, the soprano, concert and tenor have the similar tunings of G, C, E and A. Um, the baritone has your similar tuning, last four uh, string tunings of a guitar, which is D, G, B, E. And the guitar lily also has uh, uh, the last four strings as uh, G, uh, C, E and A, but also as an additional two lower strings of A and D. Now, how do you hold uh, a ukulele? You'd probably keep it like that. You'd support it with your elbow and your hand and then you strum. Now, um, most ukuleles are top heavy, but luckily this one is pretty balanced. But the rest of them, as you can see, are top heavy. Um, just, it'll just fall down. Um, that is because the tuning machines add a lot of weight to the neck. But in this case, it's a semi-acoustic ukulele and that basically means you've got some uh, electronics which add a little bit of weight to the body, hence it balances it out. For the purpose of this shootout, uh, Siddharth from Soundglitz was kind enough to lend me three of these instruments. Uh, the Yamaha Guitar Lily, the Lanikai Baritone, uh, the uh, Fender Soprano and Procraft India also supplied me with the concert sized ukulele uh, which is over here and this Makalala ukulele is a tenor shaped uh, tenor sized uh, ukulele which I bought from Tom Lee in Hong Kong. For the tone test I'm going to do some basic strumming of chords uh, with all five instruments to give you an idea as to how they sound. I'm going to go straight into my SM57 into the sound card, no post-production. Um, I'm also going to play a couple of notes for you to get an idea as to how the baritone sounds in comparison with the others also. Uh, it's a very different sounding instrument and it really shines when it comes to the single note playing.
So those were the tones of the ukuleles. Which one did you like the most? Now, in terms of my preferences, um, I think uh, if you're looking for, um, you know, a bit of a darker tone, a bit of uh, single note playing, the baritone definitely shines. Um, I love my uh, tenor sized instrument. I think it's perfect for guitarists transitioning to the ukulele. I think uh, it'll be very comfortable for them with this instrument. These two, uh, I found the tuning stability to be uh, a little bit, uh, you know, it's not, it's not so perfect, but yes, after stretching the strings, they do uh, stay in tune a lot more. Um, in terms of the guitar lele, I thought the sound was pretty nice and I think if you already have like you know uh, a track going in in the background and you want to add another layer to it I think that instrument can definitely help add the higher octave sound that you're looking for. Hope you enjoyed that episode make sure you click the subscribe button and ring that bell to stay up to date with all our latest videos. If you want to support me in making such videos know that YouTube doesn't pay me much money. But we need some money for editing, shooting and for getting new gear and goodies. Now in order to get some goodies, we're going to need some patrons. And where can you become a patron? You can become a patron on my Patreon link which is in the card above. Go there and support this channel. If you want to support me even further, make sure you follow me on social media. Your likes, your clicks and your comments all help. Make sure you follow me, SSJ Productions and Guitar Gear Gyan on social media. Links are in the description below. And above all else, stay safe and wash your hands.